So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of refactor. It will help the project in the future as it expands. So at the moment we're referencing paths to different components relatively like so and it will be nice if we can alias these paths so we don't have to use these references anymore. So the way we can do that is there is a Babel plugin and the plugin is called Babel Plugin Module Resolver. Now to access the Babel RC file normally you would have to eject. Now I don't really want to inject the project at this early stage so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install two packages. One is called Customize CRA, so Customize Create React App, and one is called React Rewired. And these two packages, what they do is they work together so that you can still define a Babel RC file but you don't have to eject the application. So let's install these two first. These are installed, and then we need to install this as well the Babel plugin module resolver. All right, so that's installed now. So we need to add a Babel RC file, and then we need to add this configuration code. So so this will give us the Babel RC file. Just going to copy this across. Now let's customize this to our application. So our root folder is SRC, so we don't need to change that. All our components are within the SRC folder, so that. But the aliases, we have providers, and we've got roots, and we also have style. So these are alias. And we also need to add some configuration for the customized CRA package. So to do that, we have to create this config overrides JS file. And then within that file, let's copy this across. There's this add Babel plugins call, and then it's referencing the Babel plugins that we want to use. Rather than defining each of our Babel plugins to you, let's get rid of that. And then there's a method you can call, which is called use Babel RC. So this just tells the override to just look at our Babel RC file to see what we need. So let's call that. That makes it simpler. Right now, if we take, if we alias these paths, you can see the lint is complaining. So this is something you actually need to change in TS config. So here. Right. So we're just saying base URL is that. Because we've changed the TS config, we need to restart our process. that's running fine and you can see now there's no errors from the compilation right so now we can go around and change all our references so we can just reference roots directly so we can reference styles and what we're going to do also is I'm going to create a new folder called assets and I'm going to move the logo into it the logo SVG and then I'm going to reference assets here and I'm also going to create an alias the Babel RC so we look at our app it should still be working fine no issues there now one thing I just want to do is I just want to create a new script now package.json so the script is called serve and it basically serves the, the build after we've built it. So I just want to test that the paths work correctly. So let's stop our process. And I'm just going to run the build. So you can do that by saying yarn build. Right, I'm going to run serve. All right, that's all working. So now we know that even after building, the paths are correct. Start the local process. And I'm just gonna delete that build file. 